Hi, I'm Jenny Sprung. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to learn about the LabConco freeze dryers. I'll be going over how to choose a freeze dryer, where they fit in the market, and LabConco's product offering. Freeze drying or lyophilization is the process of removing moisture from a frozen product using vacuum. It can be used as a sample prep step or for long-term storage of a sample without the need for refrigeration. Before making a recommendation on a freeze dryer, there are some questions that need to be answered. 1. What type of solvents will be used? Lyophilization requires a temperature differential between the sample's eutectic temperature and freeze dry collector. The collector needs to be 15 to 20 degrees colder than the eutectic temperature. Alcohols must be diluted to 10% or less to prevent meltback of the samples during the freeze dry process. The collector traps the vapors from the samples during lyophilization. As the collector traps the vapors, it turns to ice. The thicker the layer of ice, the less efficient the collector becomes, potentially passing the vapors to the vacuum pump. By choosing the correct size lyophilizer, overloading will not happen, thus protecting your pump. Once you know which freeze dryer will be used, you can now choose a drying chamber. If samples are in flasks or in test tubes, a port type drying chamber is best. For bulk samples, trays will give the most surface area, speeding up the freeze-dry process. If stoppering serum vials under vacuum is required, a stoppering tray dryer or mini stoppering chamber is recommended. Freeze dryers are used for many applications, from pharmaceuticals for drug discovery and scale-up, for manufacturing to zoology, testing for nutrition, fertility, and stress. Many labs use a freeze dryer as their sample prep step for heat sensitive samples, but they are also used for long term storage for control samples. There are three steps for the freeze dry process pre freezing the samples to a solid, primary drying, which removes 92 to 93 percent of the moisture from the sample, and secondary drying, adding heat to remove the residual moisture. Pre freezing can be done in multiple ways. Stub freezing gives little surface area and is not recommended. Freeze drying on a slant gives greater surface area, allowing freeze drying to happen more quickly. The recommended way to pre-freeze is using a shell freezer. This gives maximum surface area with a thin layer around the flask. After the sample is completely frozen, attach the samples to the freeze dryer for primary drying. During this step, the freeze dryer removes vapors from the solid sample without passing the liquid stage. For proper freeze drying, the collector must be 15 to 20 degrees colder than the sample's eutectic temperature. There must be some heat applied, but not enough to melt the sample, and a deep vacuum is required. When the sample appears dry, additional heat can be added during secondary drying to drive off the residual moisture. LabConco offers a range of freeze dryers from a 1 liter up to an 18 liter in both benchtop and console models. Collector temperatures from minus 50 to minus 105 are available for a variety of samples. With the exception to the 4.5 liter, a drying chamber is required. Customers can choose from the traditional port type drying chamber to clear chambers and tray dryers. A rotary vane type vacuum pump is required for all freeze dryers. Unique features to the LabConco line of freeze dryers include a vacuum control valve and vacuum bleed valve, moisture sensor in the drain line that prevents the pump from starting if moisture is detected. This will protect the vacuum pump and prolong its life. Other features include LED control panel for one button startup and control of parameters as well as LED wavegraphs to alert the user when it's safe to add samples. Some freeze dry models can be shipped in 48 hours for customers who need a unit quickly. LabConco also has a line of tray dryers. The stoppering tray dryer and bulk tray dryer require a 6 12 or 18 liter freeze dryer for operation. The Triad is a standalone tray dryer that includes a 2.5 liter collector that reaches minus 85 degrees Celsius and has one shelf. Unique to the stoppering tray dryer are three temperature probes to monitor sample conditions during the freeze dry process. 
The user can enter up to five programs, each with five segments for the entire freeze-dry process, pre-freezing, primary drying, and secondary drying. Once freeze drying is complete, the user can stopper the samples under vacuum for long term storage or shipment. The bulk tray dryer can hold up to five shelves, which can be heated for secondary drying. Temperature probes placed in the sample can monitor sample conditions during the run and determine endpoint. The Triad is a benchtop all in one tray dryer. Add a pump and the system is ready to use. The Triad is perfect for customers who need temperature control and stoppering for a small number of samples. Thank you for taking the time out of your schedule to learn more about the freeze-dry process. Please contact me with any questions.